All right, once your tile for this graffito design is ready, it should be your clay with some type of a colored slip on top. You should have your designs drawn. You're then ready to begin doing your scratching. All right, to scratch your designs in, you can use a graffito tool like this one. It has a wire on both ends, one's thinner, one's thicker. You can use a needle tool, and you can also use the ribbon tool that has a couple different types of ends on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay your design on top of your tile. And if your tile hasn't shrunk too much, it should fit pretty decently. And then you're going to begin tracing your design. So I'm going to just take my pencil and go back over my lines. And I will show you afterwards what this looks like, but I want to get this all traced first. And so I'm going to go over there, start with the circle here. You need to think about which piece overlaps which one. All right, so you can lift this carefully and look at it as you're working on it. What you don't want to do is move this and then put it back in a different place and start tracing again because your lines will get messed up. But everything is traced on there. Hopefully that shows up on what you're looking at. And then what you're ready to do then at that point is begin doing your scraffito design. So you need to think about what overlaps what so you don't cross scratch out things that you don't want scratched out. So I'm going to turn my tile as I'm working. I'm going to start with the circle in the middle because I know that that's a complete circle. And also because this has the little groove in there, you want to run it, the clay through the groove. Also, as you're working, you can use a brush to kind of wipe away the extra material. So this is an example here where this design is on top and then the border is behind that. So I'm going to go through and not cross through my, same with this one here, not cross through. Okay, so all of the sun rays are scratched out. And now we're gonna work on the face. So this is definitely more delicate. I'm gonna go through and scratch out the eyes first. some of the brow and then follow the I think I'm going to use the needle tool now to follow the, the line for the nose down always go back and scratch out more later on So I'm going to use the edge of the Scraffito tool to give me a little bit thicker line, but not as thick as the original 
side that I was using. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the background of the face dark, and so I'm going to scratch out the area behind the sun rays back here and leave the border dark as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tool and just begin, I wanna scratch everything in the same direction. So I'm gonna kinda of scratch at an angle like this to scratch out some of the background. Gotta be careful not to accidentally scratch out the rays. Okay, so when I look at this, I definitely want more of the background scratched out. So this is dark, the rays are gonna be dark, the background's dark. So I'm gonna take off another layer, going kind of from the other direction. Rather than scratching down, I'm gonna scratch up and take away some more of that. What I want to do now is add a little more detail to the face. And on the rays, we're going to add some lines, give it a little more depth. So the, the lighter background will highlight the face and the rays which are darker and then the darker border will frame that in. I think what I'm going to do too is just on the rays add a few more light lines. All right, once you're done with all your Scrafito work, you've had a chance to go through it and double check and make sure you have enough light and dark. Contrast between the different areas, turn it over, and you're going to carve your name into the back. I like using a pencil lead to do that, so. And then please put a period number on there so we can identify and get it back to you.